Hey guys, I'm Aaron and today we're going to model a wall sconce. So for those of you who aren't as uh, high end as me, sconce is a fancy word for a wall mounted light. Um, so it's kind of a cool architectural detail. It's functional because like I said, it is a light and brings light in. Um, and the fact is sconces can look like anything. I mean, there's, there's things that are different shapes, round, square. They look like things you would hang on a wall. Um, there, there, there's a lots of different ways they could look. Uh, we're going to keep it kind of simple, but I want to put some cool details in there. That's going to set what we model apart from maybe something else you might see. Let's hop in and check it out. All right, so if we're gonna put a wall sconce up here, first thing we need is a wall. So I'm just gonna use my rectangle tool, draw a quick rectangle on the ground like this, pull it up, and there we go, we have a wall. I'm gonna triple click that and make it a group. Now, we're gonna create a sconce to put on here. I'm gonna model this flat on the ground actually, and make it a component that will snap up to the wall. Um, so I'm gonna, this is, I'm gonna start with a fairly basic shape. So I'm gonna, the base of this that sits on the wall is going to be a square a rectangle like this. I'm going to pull that up like that, and that's going to be the base plate basically that sits on the wall. I'm going to triple, triple click that, and uh, we're just going to throw a dark color on there. So you guys know I don't like black. I'll use this charcoal or tungsten, sorry. Uh, and I'm going to triple click that and make it a group. I like black. I'm just saying I don't use black as fill colors because I like to be able to see the edges against my colors or my materials. So I'll grab that, make it a group. Um, and now my sconce, I want to have it like an extruded half circle. It's going to sit up on the wall. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to look at the side like this. I'm going to draw a circle right here. Pull that across like about that big. That looks good. I'm going to cut that across, get rid of this. And then I'm going to pull this out this way a little bit. And I'm going to pull it out this way. So that's pretty much what my sconce is going to look like on, the, on there. Um, I want to go a little bit further with this. So I'm going to start, I'm going to grab... Uh, this color and I'm going to put that on the ends like that. So this will be the part that lights up. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit further than that. I'm going to, I'm going to grab this edge right here. I'm going to option copy it in like that. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to option copy that in uh, about the same as about seven sixteenths before. There we go. And then just fill that in that as well. That looks cool. I like that. Um, let's go further. Let's keep going. Um, I want to, I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. I want to put a unique pattern on here. Maybe something that looks like it's cloth or weaved or so something else other than just plain white. Plain white works, but let's go, let's do something else. We're here to learn stuff. So let's learn some stuff. I'm going to go to something I wouldn't normally think of like brick. Let's go to brick. And I'm going to grab this brick texture and I'm going to fill it in here. Um, yeah, I like that. That's going to work for what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to right click, go to texture and hit position. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to turn it so it's vertical like this. And then I'm going to make it considerably smaller like that. So that's the texture I want to put on here. Not all, almost the texture, um, but you can see when you when you do that, it looks like some kind of fabric if I'm zoomed out. Uh, if you didn't know it was brick, you'd probably not catch that it was brick. But we're going to go a little bit further because I'm going to take that. I'm going to go back to uh, my in model materials. And here's here it is. I'm going to double click on it. When I double click on it, it shows up down here. I now have the ability to edit this. And I'm going to edit it by jumping back over here to this tool. Any of the color editing tools would work if I want to use sliders instead. But what I want to do is I want to make this, make it lighter so it looks like, you know, it's like a light. Is what it's supposed to be and then uh, let's make it paler as well um so that might be a little, i think that'll work that looks good all right and let's uh let's come in here whoops and let's sample that and apply it here and there we go that's a cool looking uh little sconce i like how that looks um very unique uh i'm gonna triple click that make it its own group so now i have two groups this group here this group here and I'm going to take both of those and I'm going to say make component. I'm going to call that a sconce because that's what the name of the thing is. And then I'm going to also say uh, let's set snapping 
to, I'll just say any, I, that way if I have a spot I want to put it that's not vertical, I can. And then let's hit create. When we do that, let's go ahead and close our windows here. Um, this sconce now should show up in our components. And what I should be able to do is just drag this and then oops, click on it. I'm sorry, not drag, click on it. And then when I drop it on the wall, it snaps right to it. So if I come down this edge wall here, snap it on there. Um, and because we made it snap uh, to any surface, I could put it flat on surfaces like that. That's just glue to. That's that's pretty simple, pretty easy. And uh, get rid of those extra ones. I don't need that. I just want this. That looks cool. But how do we take that maybe a little? What? How do we go another level higher? The material's kind of a nice effect. Um, what what can we do to make this a little bit more? How do we do more? I'm so glad I asked. So one thing I know is if because it's a component, I can edit this one down here, and then whatever change I make here is going to show up to any of these that are in the model, which in this case is this one right here. Uh, if we wanted to we could do this too. We could take this one and we could bring that over here straight across. And then if we make a change to this, it's going to actually happen to both. That's just basic components. Any change I make to this one is going to show up in both. So this is kind of cool because I can make changes as I go, even after they're installed in the model. Um, let's go a little further and let's, I want to actually add some light to this. Now SketchUp is not a renderer. SketchUp does not go through and figure out where light sources are and how light bounces off. There's no ray tracing or anything like that. But I do have some things I can do to emulate lights in my model. So one of the things I can do is I can actually import an image of uh, some fading colors and use that as light. So I'm going to come in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to import. I have an image on my desktop. And this right here, wall light, is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to say import that. And I'm just going to drop that, boom, right behind that light. Scale it to the right size. All right, I'm going to slide it over a little bit, slide it down a little bit. Cool. And then what I can do is I can take that. So you can see that pi that picture, that image is a picture of translucent uh, yellowy material that fades off into nothing. So you can see, look at, look at my blue lines right back here, my blue axis. You can see it behind as I get closer to the center. It, it disappears all the way behind that light. All this was was a radial gradient that I put onto, a, I, I can't remember, a 300 by 300 pixel square. Simple, super, super simple, uh, not a whole lot of work. I know people are going to ask for this file <laughs> in uh, the, the comments. I, I don't have a way to share it through YouTube, so no, I can't give it to you, but it is super easy to make. You could, you, I have faith you could do this yourself. Um, all right, so let's, let's see what that looks like when we put it in the model. So right now it's separate. Here's my component. Here is the imported image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to edit and say cut. I'm going to open the component by double clicking and I'm going to say edit, paste in place. As soon as I do that, it shows up on both of them. But wait, why didn't it show up on here? So what's happening right now is the back of the surface, which is where that image at, where that image at, where that image is at, is right in line with the wall. So it's causing a little bit of an issue. So I grab this and I slide it up. I can see it's right there, but I have two surfaces on top of each other. So if I take this wall and I slide it, actually it won't let me slide because I'm glued to. Here's what I'll do. I'll come in here and I'll take this material and I'll move it up like this. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to exaggerate a little bit. I'm going to move it up a little bit higher. And then by doing that, you can see that gets rid of the fighting between that plane and the wall. Let's move the wall a little bit taller to take full advantage of that material I put on there. There we go. All right. So that's kind of cool it's like i said it's a real simple lighting effect this is now a part of the component so anytime i grab this and bring it in it's just gonna show it's just gonna show up like that but uh i like that i want to go just I, you guys know i like to just push it i like to go a little bit further let's go just a touch further here's what i want to do i want to actually because the way this is built light wouldn't hit down below here or up above here we kind of have V's of no light coming out. Um, so I want to emulate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily take my image. I'm going to drop it back down. 
to flush with the back. That's just going to make it easier to make the edits I'm about to make. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take a spot like right about there and I'm going to draw a line out to like there. And this is not very specific, uh, but then I'm going to take that edge and I'm going to say, okay, now copy that. Hold on my modifier key to make a copy and just find the middle there. And I'm going to take both of these edges and I'm going to say the same thing. Copy it again, hit the modifier key to copy and grab the red and pull the red to the middle here. All right, so now I have those four edges. Um, this currently is not a texture or a material. This is currently an image. To get it so it's an editable texture, I have to right click and explode it. As soon as I do that, it drops into context with the rest of this. Um, now what I want to do is I want to cut out these two pieces. To do that though, I do have to close up this face. So I'm going to come here to the end of this one, take it over to this one. See, as soon as I did that, see how it broke? Same thing on this side, click right here, drag it across to here, that side breaks. All right, now a little bit of quick cleanup. Erase, 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 and there we go. Erase, erase, erase. Oh, it's looking good, look at how that breaks. But I have these edges on here, so I'm just going to, in my eraser, I'm gonna hit Shift, Shift is hide, and I'm gonna go around and just hide the edges. Like that, like that. And then when we exit out now, look at the shadow that I just created there. Ooh, look at that. So we'll make this a little bit, bring this home just a touch. I'm gonna to go into the wall group and I'm gonna color that with a, just a little bit darker color. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. So kind of a cool, like I said, sconces themselves can look like anything. So the idea of drawing a sconce, which was my original idea for this, that could be just about anything. So simple model, but by adding that image and then doing a little bit of editing to the image, cutting it up a little bit, uh, I could see how that, that worked out. And I'll, you'll notice this too, uh, when we made that a little bit darker, my material didn't uh, end up behind. So I don't have the Z fighting issue that I had before uh, either. So that turned out kind of cool. So yeah, check that out. Quick and easy wall sconces with a lighting effect. So. This kind of took on a life of its own as I started putting this together. I was looking at wall sconces and going, wow, there's so many options out there of geometry that I could put together. Uh, this idea came through and I thought, this is this is fun. This is kind of a, a cool way to take that, add that little extra something to your SketchUp model, both between the materials that are actually on the lens part of the sconce, but then also just creating that, that faux lighting situation. Like I said, SketchUp's not a rendering engine, so it's not gonna go through and put a light source in anything like that. That's just not, it's SketchUp's intended for model creation. But that doesn't mean you can't take geometry and add a little bit of extra value, a little bit of extra, you know, pop to your model using things like a simple gradient texture. Try it out. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, Leave us a comment down below. Is there anything in this video you caught that you learned something new? Um, is there a different way you go about something similar to doing this? Or do you have an idea for a video, something we've never covered before and you think would make a good video? Tell us about it in the comments down below. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.